Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deirdre. Um, I am not a makeup artist at all. I just am a girl that has fallen in love with makeup and doing her makeup and I love making little videos like this to show you how I do my makeup. Um, this look that you're seeing today um, is just a very simple natural look that I've been doing every day. Um, recently we are, I live in New Jersey so we've been in quarantine. Um, so I had, don't really need to be putting on makeup, but I feel like because we're in quarantine, I have no routine and at least sitting down and talking to you guys and doing my makeup is giving me some sort of routine and something to look forward to do. Um, if not every day, at least every other day and stuff like that. So I decided to take the jump and make a YouTube channel and I hope you all love it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That would be amazing. And keep watching this video to see how I achieved this look. And yeah, hopefully you will come back and I can keep making videos because I had so much fun. It's a little choppy, of course. It's the first video, but I hope you love it as much as I did. Okay, so first up is primer. I have very dry skin, especially in the summer. So I make sure that I put on some hydrating primer before my makeup all the time. And what I like about primers is that a goes a long way. So you don't need that that much for it to actually work. And you just want to like put it on and then you want to smooth out your skin, kind of like pulling the skin just to make sure that it's really filling in those pores. The primer I'm using today is just from Avon, but any hydrating primer will work. Then, um, especially in the summertime, again, I like to put on um, a little sunblock on my face. And people always say to me, Deirdre, that's an extra step. Like, why don't you just put on a primer that has sunblock in it? So I'm kind of picky. I don't like the smell of sunblock. So especially makeup products that have like SPF in it, sometimes I just don't like it. So I found this Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration. It looks like this. Um, it's called the Weightless Face line. Um, it has SPF 30 in it. It smells beautiful. It doesn't smell like sunblock and it's, um, on the bottle it actually says to wear under your makeup. So that's why I use it. I feel like it works the best. Um, so yeah, once you put your primer and sunblock on your face, it's kind of going to be a little bit tacky. You want to let it just dry until that tackiness is like not too, too much. Then we go in with our foundation and concealer and cream contour all at the same time. So because we are in quarantine, I've been trying like new tips and tricks. And this is something that I actually have been loving to do. Um, I saw it on TikTok, which is kind of funny because who knew that a TikTok trend would be so helpful in the makeup world. Um, but yeah, so this lady put on concealer and her like cream contour on before her foundation. And I was like, what the heck? Like, that's crazy. It looks crazy. Like, no way. So I decided to try it and I actually loved it. I mean, she did it a little different than how I'm doing it now, but I really, really enjoy doing this. So the products that I just used were the 16 hour camo concealer from e.l.f. in the shade light peach. That's where I want everywhere brightened. And then I use the same camo concealer just in shade medium sand anywhere I want to contour. And then um, I'm going to be going in with the found sealer from Tarte in the shade fair light neutral. And we're just going to blend all of this together. I love a lightened um, under eye and I love to be like highlight and stuff like that. So highlighted, I guess is the word. Um, so doing this step of mixing it all together kind of uh, down plays the under eye a little bit, which is kind of a good thing, I think, um, because it makes it look a little more natural, which I like actually do love. So. And it looks a little crazy in the beginning just because we need to like bronze and put on powder and stuff and then it all comes together nicely. 
Okay, so you just want to blend, 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 and then bring it down just a little bit. Just like that. Once you put on all your foundation and concealer and cream contour and stuff, you want to go in and put on your blush. Now, I use a cream blush and a powder blush. So you want to make sure that you're putting on your cream products first, because if you put on cream and then powder and then cream, it's going to look very cakey and that is not what you want. So I suggest doing this step, which is kind of weird, like putting on blush when you have nothing really else on yet, but it's a really important step that some people miss out on. So just make sure you're doing that. I also bring it on my nose just because I love like a shimmery and highlight and like looking rosy and stuff. So once you do that, you're going to set the face. The Cover Girl Banana Powder. It comes with a brush in it already. I don't really use it. It's like a little fluffer. I don't yet use that at all. So you just tap some into the cap just like that. And then we're just going to put some right underneath your eye and just kind of brush it in there. And again, this is just to set your under eye and concealer. And again, it makes it a little more brighter and you can just see the difference between this eye. It looks so much like bigger and like prettier once you get this under it. And you don't need a lot of this, a little goes a long way, which is nice too because you get so much product in this. And then I'll just go up kind of too on my eyelid. Okay. Once we do that, you're going to go in with the same powder, but not the banana shade. We're going to go in with a light pale. So this is a loose powder just to set all over the face. Um, it has a little bit of a tint to it. Same thing comes with a little brush, but we're not going to use that. It has a little tint to it, but I really like this because it really brings all of the makeup together. And it has like a really nice finishing look at the end. So same thing, a little goes a long way with this. So I just like tap my brush into the cap and then I just tap the excess away. So that when I am setting it, I'm not picking up like too, too much product. Cause we don't, again, we don't, we're not using this to cover or change like our color of the foundation. We're just setting it so that it doesn't go anywhere. And then same thing, you want to bring it all the way down your neck just to make sure that it's all nice together. Okay, perfect. Once you do that, we're going to go on to eyebrows using the NYX Eyebrow Powder Pencil in Taupe. Um, I use the shade taupe. I have blonde hair, but it's not like super, super light. So I cannot use like a blonde colored pencil. I have to always use taupe. Pretty much every single um, eyebrow pencil I pick up is taupe just because it's the best shade for me. Um, I really like this eyebrow pencil because it's very easy to use. So as you can see, I just go under with a very light hand and just outline the bottom of each eyebrow. Once I outline both bottoms, I'll go in and finish one side first. So I just go around, I try to keep the natural shape and not like over line. I just try to keep it wherever the hairs are but I just want to define it a little bit more. And then I'll go over and do the same thing. And drag it down, just like that. 
Then once you have the tops done, you're gonna go in and just lightly brush to fill it all in. And now I'm not bringing the product all the way across into this inner corner. We're gonna leave that kind of natural looking. So with a very light hand again, you're just gonna go up and out, up and out, up and out. Once you have them on, you're going to take the other spoolie side and you're just gonna kind of brush them together just to make sure that you have that natural looking eyebrow. And there you go. Okay, so now going into eyes, we'll be doing a kind of like a natural shimmery look and then we're gonna put lashes on at the end just because I got these new ones and I cannot wait to share them with you. So into the first palette is the Going Coconuts ColourPop palette. It has nine shades and it is beautiful. It is like the most perfect, like neutral palette ever. You have some mattes and shimmers, they're absolutely gorgeous. I use this palette every single day, I'm not even kidding, because this shade right here is called Shredded. It was the perfect like neutral shade and it comes with a mirror, which I love palettes that have mirrors in it. I think it's so important for a palette to have a mirror in it just because it's easy to take with and carry and I can like just nice and easy look in this mirror while I'm doing it and it's just super handy to have it. In with the shade Shredded, lightest color in the palette all over your lid, up on the crease and almost right under the brow bone but there's like no product by the time that you get up there so it's just a nice blend and again this is basically the color of my skin so it works perfect for like that base coat or base color so once you have enough on there and this was on the um jaclyn hill jh33 brush that i was just using now we're gonna go in with the jaclyn hill jh40 brush which is like a tinier brush and we're gonna go into the shade Lovely Bunches right here. And we're just going to put this, tap off the excess, go into the outer corner. And then we're going to blend up into the crease. I like this color because it's a brown, but it's a very like light brown and there is a darker brown in here that we could go into but we're just going to keep it nice and simple and not too smoky today again this is a look that i usually wear every single day um especially now that it is the summertime i feel like neutrals are the perfect way to go because it's good for during the day it's good for at night you really can't go wrong with it. Okay, once you have that all done, we're gonna just take um, the JH43 brush, which looks like this, it's just like a really like flat brush. And we're gonna tap into the same thing, the Lovely Bunch color that we were just using, tap into it, tap off the excess, and then we're just gonna go under our lash line just to tie it all together. Tap on as close to the lash line as possible. Okay, once you do that, we're gonna go back with that JH40 brush, the small little one tap in just a very teeny tiny bit into shredded and tap it off and then we're just going to go under and just kind of smoke out this bottom just to blend it and bring it up into the corner and repeat that process on the other side and then we're going to go on to the very first brush the JH33 brush again tap into shredded again 
the first lightest color and we're going to just blend all of the outer color just to make sure that it's nice and blended and toned down. We're gonna be switching palettes. This is the Alomar Cosmetics palette, volume one. This one doesn't have a mirror, but it's really pretty at least. This is what it looks like. We're gonna be taking this. It's basically all shimmers, four shimmers and then four mattes. So we're gonna be taking the lightest shimmer color here and we're going to just put this all over the lid. We're going to try to not get this up onto the crease just because we want to keep that kind of dark. But just put, putting this nice shimmer all over. Again, this is a very light, neutral shimmer, very pretty. And then just blend it a little bit, just to make sure it's all nice and blended. Okay, once we have that shimmer down, we're gonna go back to the Going Coconuts palette, and we're gonna go into Palm Reader on this tiny brush, which is just right here. And we're just going to put a little bit right in the center, just to make sure that that center really is popping nice and pretty oh yeah and then we're just going to go in with that seam shimmer and put it in the inner corner Now we're going to move on to eyeliner. So I've been using the Avon Super Shock color or brand in, what is this color? I think it's just brown. I've just been taking this and putting it in the under uh, waterline. Weird feeling doing that on camera, but it's okay. <laughs> And then we're going to take a simple black, you can use any black liner, and do the top. So the reason why I put black on the top line is because I'm going to put in, uh, put on some liner and lashes and mascara and stuff. So I feel like putting the black eyeliner on top just really like ties it together just to like hide the fact that you're wearing fake lashes and stuff like that. For lashes, we're gonna be going in with the Glamnetic Magnetic Lashes. They look like these. And then um, it also comes with a Glamnetic Eyeliner, which is magnetic so that the lashes stick to them. I got the Keep It Classy Kit, which was about $89.99. They always have sales, so you could get 30% off, 20% off, 15% off, literally all the time. Um, just sign up for like text messages or emails and they'll send them all the time. Or if you follow them on Instagram and stuff, they'll like give codes. So that's what I did. I got 30% off. So it was an amazing deal. Just show first what these lashes look like. So this one is the Love Lash. As you can see, they are gorgeous. They are more of like a wispy lash, which I really like. Those are the lashes that I usually wear on a daily basis. And I also love this packaging because it's black and pink and white, which is so cute. And every single pair of lash comes with a quote on the top. So this one says, she remembered who she was and the game changed. I just like love that. The type of lash that came in the kit was called the Lust Lash. And as you can see here, they are a more like drama lash. They're a little longer, but I love them so much also. The quote on this one says, just give me lashes and watch me make it happen, which is like literally exactly how I feel. I felt lost without lashes during this whole quarantine, no lashes, no nails. So then when I saw this brand, I was like, let me just try them because they look so beautiful. And if it's as easy as it looks, I need them right now. What came with this eyeliner, it says to shake it first. So that's what I just did. It's just black. They also come with um, a brown eyeliner if you choose to get that one. It's a really nice teeny tiny brush. It's very easy to put on. So I'm just going to go put on the eyeliner and then I will be right back. Once you put the liner on, it is so easy to put these lashes on. 
I'm just gonna use a little applicator here just because it's like, kind of easier for me to do it that way. And we're just going to click them on. See, so easy and they are literally right on there going nowhere. So easy and so wispy and beautiful. You can use your fingers to apply them. Um, I tend to just like fix them at the end. So with them, just to make sure they're like actually on there. Okay, and there you go. Nice and easy. Now we're just gonna go in with some mascara just to tie them together. This is the Man Eater mascara, again, just in black. Okay, so now that we have the lashes on, we're going to bronze and put some highlight on, and then lips, of course. So this is just um, a bronzing highlight blush palette. I only really use the Hoola. Um, this is from Benefit. So I really only use the Hoola in it. As you can see, it comes, it looks so dirty, but this is what it looks like. I use the Hoola bronzer every single day. Um, but this palette's really good because if you want to just travel and you just want one little thing, like this is the perfect little traveling palette because it has the blush, your bronzer, and everything like all in it as one. Um, but like I said, I really only tend to use the bronzer when I'm doing my makeup every day. So as you can see, I'm bronzing. I only dip into the palette like once or twice and I just do the my cheekbones um, around like my chin. I do my nose and then I do that forehead. Anywhere I put like the cream contour, that's where I bronze generally. Now we're going to go in with highlight and blush. So for blush today, I'm going to be using, this is also um, from Avon. It came in like a little trio. It had two eyeshadow palettes and this face palette. It's beautiful. It also has a mirror in it so it has two highlights and two blushes so i'm just gonna go ahead in this pinky color just dip it it is very pigmented so you want to like take that off and we're just going to go over again where we put the cream blush in the beginning and then just a little on my nose just because i love putting on my nose Okay, and then we're going to go in for highlight now. So we use the ColourPop um, Flexitarian shade. This is a Super Shock Cheek highlight. And I'm just going to put some, oh yeah, in the high ends of my cheeks. And then on my Cupid's bow and down my nose. A little on my chin and a little on my forehead just to give it an extra like pretty glow and then we're just gonna go in and like dab it where we already highlighted but like add a little more just like that and then for lips we're gonna go in with the ultra blotted lip in the shade starling from ColourPop what I love about these lipsticks is that you put it on and it dries so quickly. It's like a matte color. Um, but it dries down so that it looks like you already blotted your lips. So it's doing that extra step for you, which I do not know how they did that, but it's amazing. And I love all of these. Beautiful. And once you do that, we're gonna go on with the ColourPop So Juicy Plumping Gloss. Again, I love this. This is the color Roundabout. I always, this is like the best duo. Um, 
because it just adds like the perfect amount of gloss to it and it says it's a plumping gloss but it does not like sting like a plumping gloss like there's a little tiny teeny like sting in there but like it's nothing bad just to set all the whole face is with the elf dewy setting mist it is clear obviously it's just like a setting spray um but you could also use this to like refresh your makeup so i'll put it on now and then probably like a little bit later if we decide to go out somewhere or something i'll just spray my face again just to give it that nice dewy look to make your face look fresh so we're just going to spray this and then just like fan it off a little bit. <laughs> I love this. It also smells like coconuts, which I absolutely love that. And that is the final look. As you can see, it's very like glowy and I hope you enjoyed this. Um, again, this is my first makeup tutorial, so I'm kind of nervous, but... I hope you liked it and don't forget if you loved this look and you want to see more makeup videos like this, just like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned.